Well, welcome to the River Wye and its Oxbow Lake that might become one day, just over there. Watch more of my video to find out why and watch me get my feet very wet. And no, you can't fish here because it's private fishing and it is pat patrolled by the BFFC. Not sure what that stands for. And this is me crossing over this river. It's a little bit deep here. Oh dear, see there's a, someone's chucked a uh, trolley, not very good. Obviously been there for quite a while. Now this is the River Wye, got a very sharp bend, goes down there, I know it goes a bit out of view over there, comes all the way back round, we go shop and goes over there. Now, this is already starting to happen, an oxbow lake I reckon, as you can see, just across there, when the river starts to get really high, you can tell the river starts to go across there, this little bit here. Cuts across here, and you can tell, goes across here, and into there. So if that starts to happen on a regular basis, if that gets any deeper, if all this earth here gets washed away, then the course of the river will change. And then it start, the river will then start coming across this little section across here, which means this river over here will then start to get cut off. And that will become what they call an oxbow lake or a half moon lake. That will that will take time to happen though, maybe decades, maybe even maybe a century. All depends on the environment and what the river does. And that's the A6 just there. So you can see. And even maybe cuts across here as well, as you can see where the water goes. But mainly cuts across here, as you can see with these old dead sticks, you can see the flow of the water cutting across here. And as I said, you can start to see this already happening. All it takes is for the river to be permanent higher and for all this to be washed away. And then that part of the river over there will then get cut. Maybe in a hundred years time, I could be standing on the bed of the new river. As you can see where it cuts across here. And that could be a, a sort of Knoxbow Lake, and there could be like a little island here. See, that's where the river goes, very sharp bend, and all the way, another sharp bend here, all the way over here.
comes across here all the way around here and this is what I'm having to stand on and as you can see there's a very another bend over here and it rushes all the way around there another sharp bend and it carries on down there for many miles. And just up there is the railway line that goes towards Buxton. It's a freight line only. Now I've got to work my way back across this deep river. Deepish. Nice shallow bit here, goes a little bit deep over there. Deep here. Oh dear. Whoa. Trouble is, viewer, I've got a hole in my boot. Great big hole. These were my favourite pair of boots. And I've looked after them for years and I don't know where that hole's come from. One very wet sock. And one very cold river. And as you can see, again the river is trying to change course because there's this little section down here as well. See that's the main part, the big part. And I'm on a, like a little island, if you like. <laughs> so throughout a life of a river, the course of the river is always changing. Now, I just spotted this in the wall. Obviously a little drain pipe next to the road. You can just see the road, and there's another one just there. Just see the car go past. So it stops the road from flooding, so if it rains really hard and no, the water gets onto the road, it just drains through those two little holes in the wall there. With this photograph, I'm going to show you what I mean. Eventually, the water will start hitting this bank here. And as it does, it starts breaking away the, cut, the mud and it eventually works its way through the mud here. Till, and also, River comes around this side. We will work right getting rid of the mud on this side until eventually it will cut through. So the river will then start making its way through this bit here. Mud will start appearing along here. That's because the river's going through this way. And this is where it starts to get dry a little bit. The mud will start appearing here and stem this side. So this will stop being used by the river water here will stay here
course of the river will have now changed and instead of going down that way it will be going across here down that way leaving this bit as an oxbow lake and all this will be like mud and water will no longer be going down this way but will be going across this way and that's how you get an oxbow lake As you can just see through the twigs and branches, there's another little river joining onto the bigger river here. And then right over there, you can see there's a bank over there. And then it comes all the way around there. And as I said, this could become an oxbow lake. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative. I found it very peaceful and relaxing and had a bit of a laugh watching me getting my feet wet. Please like and subscribe without just passing by. Please help put my subscribe numbers up higher please. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care, stay safe. Thank you. Bye.